Name Co. Dustin. Fantasy Smack Talk. We're gonna be going over, I don't know if he'd let me go with it, but apparently, and some people were saying, why is he doing this? It's because he is the president and CEO of Fantasy Smack Talk. Dustin Barkley, Brent Name Co. here. In this video, we're gonna be going over our wide receiver rankings. It's a long list, so Dustin, just get it started. Number one guy, Calvin Johnson, the only non-running back that will get taken to first round in standard 10 team leagues this year. Almost 2,000 receiving yards last year. Tier one, all by himself, amazing. Crazy. Tier two, just gonna highlight one of them, and that's Des Bryant. And the reason why we might, some people might have AJ Green over him, we just love the way that Des ended the year, and we trust Romo a little bit more than Dalton. Dustin's probably gonna hate that as a Bengals fan, but we yeah. do. In fact, and Dez's second half was just a monster year. Finally lived up to the potential. We'll see if he can do it again. Tier 3, Demarius Thomas. Guy I want to talk about. Going to get a lot of hype as far as off-season stuff. You do have to factor in just a little bit Wes Welker, but as far as will that hurt Thomas's value, but we're not really thinking it's going to hurt his value that much as opposed to like Ed Decker and all the other guys that might Which we will lose. talk about. Which we will talk about. And the other guy, Randall Cobb. Love this guy. He's gonna with you know Greg Jennings officially out of the way. Cobb is gonna continue to get a ton of touches on that offense. They'll find a way to get him involved in a number of ways. Big fan of Randall Cobb. I think Cobb's gonna be undervalued. I really do. It's just we got I don't, eight. I I don't see that we ain't undervalued. I'm saying the, the masses will be undervalued. Probably Clearly we don't. All right, next tier got highlighting two again. And that's first one's Larry Fitzgerald. Finally, he's gonna have a decent quarterback throwing the ball. Seems like it's been forever. Carson Palmer actually did some things in Oakland with a terrible receiving core. Clearly Fitzgerald's going to be the best one he's played with in a long, long time. Probably ever. No offense to Ocho Cinco, but Fitz is just on a different planet. And then we got Percy Harvin. He's with Seattle now, and we really like the offense that Seattle's putting together. And I think that Harvin's going to really excel with the ability of Russell Wilson to run, with Marshawn Lynch doing a little misdirection, him coming over the middle. It's going to be a nightmare for defensive coordinators. All right, I want to talk about number 16 and 17 in Tier 5. At 16, Jordy Nelson. You know, like I said about Randall Cobb, Greg Jennings officially out of the way. You know Aaron Rodgers is going to throw for around 5,000 yards. Plenty of yards to go around. Nelson, we think he has a nice, you know, somewhat a down year last year, but a nice bounce back this year. We like his upside. And then Wes Welker, you know, you look at what he did last year, 118 catches, 1,300, over 1,300 yards. That's not going to happen with the amount of talent on Denver. But he could get pretty close to that, and obviously you're still going to love him in PPR leagues. Probably 90-plus catches again pretty easily. All right, Tier 6. First guy I'm talking about is Pierre Garçon. With the Redskins, he was banged up last year. When he did play, he was RG3's favorite target. He supposedly he's not 100% healed, and he'll never be 100% healed. But still, him at even 80% in the way that RG3's that threw the ball last year. We do like him. It's a high upside at this point. You're looking for a guy that could be a wide receiver one, and he does have that upside. Also, I want to talk about Danny Amendola. And if he stays healthy in a PPR league, he certainly could be a wide receiver one. With Tom Brady, I don't know who else is going to be throwing the ball to. Well, there's a rookie that we really like that he's going to be throwing the ball to that I'll talk about later. But Danny Amendola will take the Welker roll. PPR machine. I love Danny Amendola. I love that position. Who do you like? Danny Amendola. I really love Wes Walker. Always have. Tier 7. Like Torrey Smith. First guy I want to talk about. Bolden out of Baltimore now. Someone's going to have to step up. You know, we think Pitt is definitely going to step up. But also Smith. You know, he just keeps getting a little bit better. And, you know, for a guy that's, you know, typically more of a deep threat, you got to love the fact that he had eight touchdowns last year. So look for him to be a big part of that offense. And at 27, Cecil Shorts. You know, he's he's very undervalued, I feel. Not a lot of people are talking about him, but he put together a stellar year last year. Almost 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. I know Gabbard's throwing the ball, but look for Cecil Shorts to be a big part of that Jaguars offense. We like his upside. All right, Tier 8. It's a lot of the kind of older guys here that used to be studs with Jenny and Austin Macklin all in this. But the guy I'm going to highlight, of course, is Tavon Austin. This guy's probably going to get overdrafted. He had huge college numbers. He's Everyone's relating him to Percy Harvin, but he's probably a lot faster even than Harvin. I mean, this guy's lightning bolt, but it's going to be tough for him to put up these monster numbers and where he's getting overdrafted. So make sure you're taking him in the late middle rounds if you are going to be taking him. That's why we group him into tiers for you. We've got him around these other old, kind of boring guys, but that's where he is. 
We're we'll talking about one guy in tier nine, and that's Brian Hartline. You know, look, you look at what his stats were last year. You might wonder why he's so low. Over a thousand yards, 74 catches. But they actually have a real receiver out there now, and Mike Wallace. That might be a little harsh, but you know, Mike yeah, Wallace like is out there. 280 yards or something crazy in a game. Be nice to Hartline. Sorry, sorry, Hartline. See? But. They have a real receiver over there now, so Wallace is definitely going to cut into those numbers. He was really their only option last year, so we're, we're definitely, obviously, expecting his numbers to go down. If anyone knows Hardline, send him after Dustin. Love Sorry. to see him show up. He might be able to take him. He's not even a real receiver. He's kind of a bum. He's actually pretty jacked. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't have your back, actually. All right, so the next one is Tier 10. Love Dobson. Here's the reason. Hernandez, at this point, I can probably take away the allegedly, but... Hernandez has got some legal issues if you haven't heard about. Gronk's, who knows what's going on with him. Walker's gone. We love the rookie Dobson. We think that the Patriots finally hit on a rookie receiver they drafted. And, you know, Tom Brady's throwing him the ball. And then just want to talk about a few other guys in this tier, and that's Blackman. He's suspended four games. Keep that note. And Gordon suspended two to get two games. So keep both those in mind when you're drafting. Tier 11, Vincent Brown's a guy I want to talk about. San Diego, their receiver situation is still kind of a mess. Yeah, Alexander's out there, but a lot of hype has been around Brown. You know, a lot of uh, good reports. You know, he's coming back from a major injury, but looks like he's going to be healthy. So you're going to want to look at him. You know, he could have a nice year for them. And then Emmanuel Sanders for Pittsburgh. Mike Wallace is in Miami now. He's going to move into it as the number two guy out there for Pittsburgh. I don't love him, but he's going to get a lot more touches. The upside's there. All right, and then the last tier, we're starting with. Uh, going to start with T.Y. Hilton. Really like Andrew Luck. He really started coming to his own last season. T.Y. Hilton finished the year on a very positive, strong note. We know uh, Hayward Bay's there now, but we think Hilton's going to be locked in as the number two. And then we're going to talk about Patterson with the Vikings. Yeah. I was against this guy at first, and then Dustin really started to make a lot of sense for once in his life. And that's because Harvin's gone. This is the perfect guy to plug into that spot. So we think he'll be moved all over the field, get kind of the, the balls that Harvin used to get. Once in his life. Okay, Dustin, wow. Nameco, these are wide receivers. Check out top 200 cheat sheet, tiers and rankings. Get in the forms you got. At Fantasy it. Advice. Subscribe on YouTube. All that stuff. Comment. And nothing else. Forums. Did you